decenter tilt an optical element in Zmax. In Zmax, we can decenter a lens or any kind of optical elements. As you can see in this case, this is our optical axis, and we have three lenses. We can decenter them, or we can tip and tilt an optical element. So let's go to Zmax and see how we can do it. Open a sample file, go to Zmax samples, sequential, objectives, uh, cook 40 degree field. Let's look at this example. So first of all, because I'm going to tip, tilt, or decenter the optical element, it's better to look at it from 3D view because after we do tip and tilt, then you know we cannot see the 2D drawings. So let's look at the 3D drawings. I'm going to put it here on the bottom. So you can see I have a optical elements, three optical elements in 3D. Let me add one surface after the object, a dummy surface. I'm going to insert surface after. I'm going to put dummy for this surface. For the thickness, I'm going to put 10. Now let's uh, start from this. OK. Now let's make it uh, a little bit. We don't need all the fields. So I'm just going to look at the first field. Yeah, I have a system. The beam comes from the infinity. I have three lens elements. And here, YZ, in, I can see the system in YZ. So this is my first element, first surface of the first optical element. First surface of the second one, second surface of the second element, first surface of the third element, and second surface of the third element. For example, right now, I'm going to decenter the third element. So you press Shift or Control, click on surface 6 and surface 7. So we select both surfaces. And then you click on this icon which this uh, tilt decenter elements. When you click on that, and then click on OK. So right now, I have a coordinate break for tilt, uh, for tilt element and tilt element return. So I'm going to rename it to element uh, tilt element 3, tilt element 3, because that's my element 3. So when you click on the whole line, you can see all the options. Right now, as I said, I want to decenter it around y, around uh, x axis. So I'm going to move it in y direction. So I'm going to move it by one millimeter. And you know all the unit space and millimeter. Put one click in there and double click on this surface. You can see the lens moved by one millimeter. If I want to go downward, I'm going to put, for example, two millimeter downward. It moves down. So let me put it back. Zero, zero, right lens. Now I'm going to tip or tilt the lens because this is my y axis, this is the z axis. I'm going to rotate it around x axis. So click on coordinate break for D center. I'm going to put, for example, two degrees. Let's look at it. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's put Oh, sorry, that's D center. So let's put zero for D center. Because it's in X direction, we cannot see it. So I'm gonna do tilt about X. So for tilt, I'm gonna put two, hit enter. Now we can see the lens is tilted. Let me put a bigger number. Let's put five degrees that we can see it better. Yeah. But the effect of tilt is not that much on the focus. Now, if I'm going to do it for second element, again, the same situation. This is the first surface of the second element. Second surface, press Ctrl or Shift, click, uh, select both of them, click on this center, click OK. Now I have coordinate break for the third element. And for the second element, I'm going to put element 2 tilt, element 2 tilt return, and now click on this line. I'm going to put decenter around y axis. So I'm going to decenter it by 2 millimeter. 
register. Now you can see the lens move up because that's a, a, the surface of this is my stop. You can see one of the beam is clipped. So let me put zero. Now I'm going to uh, tilt it around X. Click on surface four. Tilt around uh, about X. So I'm going to put, let's say, 10. And you know, right now, both my uh, first element and second element is tilted, and you can see the system is defocused. 